2020 was a strange year. There's no way around it. No tailgates, no fans, none of that normal game day stuff that we've come to know and love. But now, now you can feel the excitement. We're getting ready for Terps football. Now you know, this past year really, to me, kind of showed the character uh, of who and what this team is about. We'll utilize this year to kind of help springboard us to what we feel the best is being ahead for us. Two in-conference victories. I thought we responded the right way after the Northwestern loss, but to see them put it all together the next week against a great Minnesota program showed the type of resiliency and the relentlessness that you want to see out of a team. The opportunities that we did get to kind of have our full team there, Minnesota game specifically stands out to me because in the fourth quarter we were down 17. Um, I didn't see one guy put his head down and start thinking the game was over, so to end up winning the game, uh, that, was, that was real special for us, and we felt like that kind of showed us the type of team that we had across the board. Tonga by Loa. But Tonga Loa around the corner. Tonga by Loa with the stretch for the touchdown. Whether we had the lead or um, we were trailing, it was just one play at a time. Not worrying about scoring, but just worrying about, you know, the next play and, you know, scoring and take care of itself. So Katrina took it, made a uh, daytime kick. Defense got stops and it was big, not, not only for me, but for our team, you know. I think it showed the type of program that we could be. That game against Minnesota just showed us that like, we can beat anybody if we put our minds to it. Like, showing them guys that we can really you know, come together as a team and show them our talent all across the field on both sides of the ball is really helpful. And then kind of bumping that over to Penn State and getting, getting a win that we, we've wanted for a long time, getting a good win over there, kind of just set things in motion. Played together as a unit, you know, offense, defense, special teams. You know, we played, played well. We knew our assignments. We executed with discipline. We just had fun that night. You know, everybody was just out there playing fast, physical, and, and playing with a lot of energy and a lot of, you know, passion. It just shows that, you know, with hard work, discipline, and, you know, execution, that anything is possible. Fires it across the middle. It's complete. Jarrett in the end zone for the touchdown, and that's Jarrett again for another touchdown to the young freshman. I mean, that was a huge game for me and the team as well. I mean, I kind of got my, I got my engine going early on, so it came out good. You know, all three phases kind of really played their best football that day, and that's why we're so, you know, excited about what our future looks like because if we can get that kind of consistency like we showed in those two games, I think that this team has a chance to do something really special together. When we came together and like did what we supposed to, uh, man, we were like unstoppable, you know? The energy, the focus, the, uh, the one-two. It goes beyond in the field too. Like, all, I, like outside of football, we hang out, we're, we're like tight. The culture from last year was really, it was something to be a part of, man. You had to play with people who you might not have been used to playing with, you know? You might be playing with guys who were getting their feet wet for the first time. You might be playing with guys who, you know, you've been practicing with every day, so it definitely brought everybody closer. We were pretty much together all day, every day, um, even on the holidays for Thanksgiving and stuff like that, we were together in the hotel, so just sharing special moments like that when we can't be with our families, I feel like that kind of like puts a new bond in, into perspective. This is definitely probably one of the closest, closest knit teams I've been on. It's the really starting to get to know your teammates and really you know, become real brothers. That's what this off season, that quarantine season just really helped us do to see the teammates and the brotherhood that's been forged through hard work and the effort, as well as the standard that's been set. Um, it's been really rewarding and fulfilling to see as we head into year three uh, as a family and moving into the new building here, Jones Hill House, very player centric. See guys all around this place uh, as much and as often as they can be. We, we uh, engaged our players to to spend time with each other, to create that bond, to create that brotherhood. And there's been this strengthening of relationships amongst our, our football family. You know what time it is. Are you
Yeah, everybody, you know, all 130 teams uh, put the work in during this time of year, and we're no different. I think where I've seen the biggest difference just amongst this team is that chemistry that's necessary to get through tough times, which we'll face as a football family. Guess what time it is? Let's get ready to go work. I think about fall camp as like paying the price to be great early, you know? Camp is hard. Everybody knows camp is hard. Just getting your mind ready for the season and working on like the little things that you're trying to perfect or improve your game. Camp is going to be our, our time where everybody who's on this team, who's on our offense, is all going to be able to play together at the same time and build that trust. And you know, trust is the most important thing in football. We got the basics, now it's just time to work on the little things and just try to put those last pieces together because the last step of a rebuilding stage it's the hardest stuff, so I feel like we're there. You know, we just want to be out there and, and put it all together, you know, execute, know your individual assignments, win your individual matchups, and do it with a lot of effort and energy. It's going to be tough days where guys don't want to do stuff, you're not going to want to practice, but that's actually going to push us to help us in the fourth quarter, and then it's actually going to help us come together. My mindset was just to get better each and every day, so I think applying that to the whole kind of like team landscape and coming in, and improving, like we're not gonna stay the same, we're either gonna get, get better or get worse, so I feel like if we come through and get better each and every day, then it'll be exciting things happening this season for us and uh, the Turf fans. That's just the start of something special. Start right now, you know, in the weight room, on the field, working on little things, and that's gonna prepare us for the, for the big show. And for the Maryland fans, they've watched games from home for over a year now. They are ready to trade living rooms for live action. It's just straight business, straight work. We're hungry and we feel like we can do something special this year, so we're looking to put on a show every time we step on the field. Is this a level that the fans bring, like, you know, when you make a big play and you hear the fans going crazy, like, is this great for momentum? You know, they're great for big games, like, I can't wait to see the fans back in college park. I'm just ready to get back to it and kind of have that real uh, good college football environment back. I'm definitely excited. You know, it was definitely an eerie silence in the stadium, you know, just pads popping and so love the energy the crowd brings. We'll give it all we got. We're going to play hard, play fast, play physical. Coming up this year, we're definitely going to shock the world, man. What an honor to be able to have fans back and how lucky and blessed and fortunate we are to be able to get to do this as a football team, number one, together. But then also for our fans to have opportunities to come back, I think. And I hope that they take full advantage of being able to be back in the shell because this place has the ability to be that 12th player that, that's needed. We are a family and they're all coming together for one cause, which is, is Maryland football. You know, the theme of family reunion is, is really applicable. You know, during the time I was here as an assistant under Ralph Friedgen, he had a disdain for West Virginia and it was just from the old battle of the, the, the East, per se. Just years and years of, of these battles that have gone back and forth and had some dramatic wins. I can remember them with the walk-off field goal here, the all red up at Raven Stadium in the rain where we got after them pretty good. We'll find out pretty quickly um, what type of team we plan on being in the 21 season. We're excited now as we open the season with a natural rival like a West Virginia. It's going to be interesting.